All right, let me tell you guys a quick story. So if you're interested in leveling up your social skills, this is probably one of the defining moments for me that I really saw the fruits of my labor. It was one of those times where I saw all the work that I put in, it kind of like came into place and it actually resulted in something pretty cool for me at least. So here's the story, all right? It was around about last summer. June, I think, and it was a pretty hot day. It was a hot summer's day. For me, it was a day for cardio. In terms of like gym and stuff, I was doing cardio that day. It was a rest day. So I head over to the park and I just get my headphones out. I stick them in and I'm like, all right, I'm on my earphones. And I start playing some music um, and I just get jogging. I just get jogging. I was planning to do several laps at the park there, a couple of kilometers, nothing crazy. Um, and that was the plan basically. After running like 20, 30 meters, I was just looking around. I saw that there were some guys in the distance playing football, like a couple of families like having picnics or whatever. And then there was also like this group of girls, right? Like this group of just like 10 girls, just sitting right in the center. They were, they were sunbathing, right? They were sunbathing in the center of the park. And um, me being a 17-year-old guy is, course, is, is, of course, going to look, right? I'm, I'm going to look at them, right? Don't Obviously, I'm running, but, you know, you, you give a little side eye. Of course you do. I mean, like, I'm, a, I'm a guy, right? But anyway, um, I'm jogging. I see him. A couple of them are looking at me. Um, whenever I go past them, whenever I'm going past them or I'm near them, I like on purposely, I increase my speed a little bit so it looks like I'm going faster when I'm near them, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, whoosh, I wanted to, I, you know, I wanted to project that I was, you know, strong and fast. I mean, that's what you kind of do as a guy, like without, without even realizing it, that's kind of what you do. Like just, I think naturally guys just do that. Like if you have, if, if you're semi-interested, you'll just start doing stuff. For the sake of it, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, um, I'm doing a couple of laps. After about my first, this is my first, it's probably my second lap actually. I did four in total, right? On my second lap, I stopped where I started initially because I'm just looping around. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take my shirt off. I'm feeling pretty good today, right? Um, I was I was like 14, 13% body fat at that time. Um, I had my top four abs. I mean, not really much muscle, but it doesn't really matter because my abs are there. I was like, all right, whatever. Um, I was feeling pretty good. I, look, I looked all right. I looked decent. So I took my shirt off and I carried on doing the laps. And you know what? It felt really good to run without a shirt on, which I, had, which I hadn't really done before. Like, it actually felt really good, to be fair. Like, the, the wind kind of, like, hitting your skin in, in the heat. It felt great, honestly. I really enjoyed it. Um, and the guys are now the guys who are playing football are looking at me when I'm running past them. Like they're just giving me dodgy looks. I don't know why they're just giving me dodgy looks. Um, I keep running, and uh, now I see like one or two of the girls looking back at me. So here's my here's my ego getting strokes now a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's my third lap now, and then I do another lap. And I get back to where I started, my starting point, which is like still kind of far away from where the girls are, because I would loop, and halfway through the halfway through the lap, I would be near those girls, and then I would come back, and I wouldn't be near them anymore from the starting point. So, <clears throat> what would happen is what happened was I got I finished my laps, and I put my shirt back on, and I really wanted to approach. I was thinking, should I go approach them? I really, honestly, I really wanted to. And I was thinking about it, but honestly, I just I just couldn't bring myself to quite do it. Little protein shape, boys, come on. Alright, anyway, um, I just couldn't quite bring myself to do it. So, I ended up going home. I was walking home. <coughs> and while I was walking home, I just kept thinking, why didn't I approach? Like... Yeah, it's a group of like, it was, it was nine or ten girls, um, but I couldn't, like, my brain was like, I mean, I didn't want the embarrassment, because there were other groups, of, there was like a group of guys there as well, that were probably looking at them, they weren't talking to them, they were probably looking at them though, um, 
And I don't know. My brain just had a bit of a panic attack. I was like, nah, forget this. We're going home. Bun that. We're going back. So I went, I went home. I walked home. And when I got home, made myself a little protein shake. Just like this one, except that it was chocolate, not vanilla. And I made my shake. I sit down. And I kid you not, I was really thinking. I was like, why didn't I approach? Like, I was so pissed off with myself. Honestly, I was so annoyed with myself. So I literally, I literally went on YouTube and looked up guys approaching groups of girls, like like large groups of girls. And I was looking at these videos, and it was like this random. It was like this guy who looked like complete shite. Like he didn't look good at all, right? He had a pretty ugly face, and he had a skinny fat physique. He looked way, looked way worse than me. I was caught a fly. No, I didn't. But you see that I'm actually a monster. Yeah, flipper now. I'm gonna get demonetized for that. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm actually I'm actually watching this video. I'm like, I could do that. Why Why couldn't I not do that? To be honest. So I just said, screw it, screw it. Let's let's just do it. I put my shoes back on, and I literally power walked back to the park. I went straight back to the park, and I saw them. I saw them from the entrance, and they were kind of far away still. And I saw everyone else around. I was like, you know what? It's now or never. So I literally, I power walked in a straight line, straight to them. Okay. <coughs> and I thought of a line on the spot to say to not sound like a complete schmuck. All right. So the line I said was, "Excuse me, guys. Sorry to bother you." Um, if a guy wanted to approach a girl, like, out on the street that he didn't know, what would be the best way to do it? I basically asked him for advice on a cold approach. That was my, my cold approach was a line on getting advice on a cold approach. And it worked. It worked really well. Because they were like, oh yeah, just like, be polite, da -da 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 -da, you know, like, be polite, make sure you look them in the eye, give them eye contacts, you know. Try not to stutter, like they're saying like the typical stuff, right? Um, don't be creepy, um, whatever that means. I don't, I don't know how you not be creepy. I mean, I guess it's, it's a certain kind of thing, right? You just, like, it's like if you're not confident, you come across as creepy, basically. That's what kind of happens. Like, you're either, like, confident or you're awkward or you're creepy. I think that's where it goes. It goes confident, awkward to creepy, I think. But I just made that up right now. But anyway, um... So I ended up speaking to them a little bit, and they're all sitting down, by the way. They're all sitting down, okay? And I'm still standing up at this point. So I eventually um, worked my way into sitting down, and then I asked them, oh, so what are you guys doing here at the park? Um, are you guys, like, from around here, etc., etc.? And then I'm just sitting there having a full-on conversation with, like, nine girls around me, and my brain is spazzing out. Like, my, my brain is going literally insane, okay? And the other guys um, who saw me running earlier were looking at me. And one of the girls also said, were you, the, were you the guy who was running around shirtless? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, yeah, you just kept on going, innit? I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like all right, I'm okay. My guys, but I'm, I'm a shit runner. I'm not even good at running. Like, my running's quite shit, I won't lie. But anyway, I managed to do like a couple of laps. Um, and I ended up sitting down having a conversation with them. Turns out they were all older than me. They were all like 20, like 19, 20. The one was 21, I think. And um, <clears throat> when, I, when I said the advice thingy, like um, what advice would you give me to like cold approach like a girl basically um, that I didn't know, right? They basically said, well, you just did it now. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. And then I ended up coming clean. I ended up coming clean. Um, I ended up telling them that the only reason that I came up to them was the was because of the regret that I would have had if I didn't. Like, I said that to them in front of them. And they were kind of surprised. But then they seemed to be um, quite open to it. And they were like, yeah, that, that's good you did. Because I said, you know what? Like, I'd, I said to them, I, I'd kick myself for being too scared all the time. And they seemed quite impressed. And I, and I, I felt pretty good about myself because I was able to go up to these girls and I was actually able to be honest like I was just myself like it was kind of hard but I ended up being truthful 
And that worked, that actually worked in my favour. Like being honest worked in my favour. And they respected me for it. And I have a little chit chat with them. Um, like l- learn about like what unis they're going to, what, what they're studying, etc, etc. <coughs> and um, the conversation naturally dies out. And yeah, essentially, um, I, I get up. I say it was great talking to you guys. And they say, yep, good meeting you. And I start walking. And then I was like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on a second. I One of them I fancied. So I was like, all right, I'm going to try and get her Instagram. I was like, I turned around. I was like, actually, what? I was like, I was like actually, now, now that I'm here, now that I'm here, um, I might as well get your Instagram. Um, whatever the girl's name was. I can't remember what that girl's name was, bro. I forgot. You forget you forget the girls you approach, bro. Honestly, you you do forget after like after like seven eight you do you do forget. Like I can't remember the majority. I forgot her name anyway. I got her Instagram and then um I followed her. Or I requested to follow her and then she never accepted me. So that was that. Um but yeah. And then I walked off and honestly like I felt like a I felt like a winner the rest of the week. I felt so good about myself. Like even though like nothing like, nothing actually changed after that, like, apart from how I saw myself. Like, it wasn't like I went and went and, it's not like I went and met up with them afterwards or something like that. But the whole experience, it left, like, a dent in my memory. And this is the thing, guys. If you want to have experiences and you want to have, like, these events, these, like, these, like, defining moments in your life, most of the time, they're not going to fall on your lap. You know, when you watch a superhero film, right... You know, Peter Parker gets bit by a spider. You ain't gonna get bit by a spider. The the group of girls is probably not gonna approach you. Like you have to kind of put yourself in those positions. Those life defining moments only happen when you you let yourself you put yourself in a situation where your life can be redefined, essentially. So that's what I would say is the main takeaway. If you wanna have these kind of like experiences and these stories Cause I've got a lot of these stories. Like I've actually got a lot of these now. And if you guys haven't, like this isn't even the best one. I've got better ones actually. Um, I've got one where I met. I, I literally I chatted up this supermodel for like three hours. Like you 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 think I'm lying? You think I'm lying? I know you do. Which I I would I wouldn't believe me either. Her name is Moya P. Right? If you type up Moya P. M O Y A P. Right? On Instagram, you'll see her. She was on our podcast. And how did that happen? Because I cold approached her. On the beach. Mate, that was a mad story. That was insane. I, I don't even know how I... Mate. Like, I've got some banging stories. So if you want more of this, guys, then tell me. But if you want to have, like, these life-defining moments for yourself, you have to get out there. Because now I've got all these six stories that I can tell people. You know? And I, there are only more to come. There's only, there's only more to come. We're just getting started. Like, we're just getting started, but if you guys have enjoyed this little, this little story time, you know what I'm saying, a little story time, you know what I'm saying, a um, bit, bit of something different, but I, I enjoy it, you know, it's actually quite fun, um, let me know, and you know what, I'll keep pumping these up, but yeah, that's it for me today, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.